morning uh, na oras na ba? 6.30 ng umaga dito sa Kanchanaburi Thailand yun, dito tayo sa balkon dyan ako nakatira ngayon, I mean, dyan ang accommodation ko ito yung parang balkon tubig, tubig na yan ako, lang may alutiit na lumabas gulat tuloy ako doon kabot puto nga gulat ako sa alutiit na yan Ayan, may bathtub interesado kang mag bathtub okay naman takot lang baka may creatures pero napaka napaka healthy ng uh, napaka healthy ng ecosystem pa nila pero what's ironic about that makakasabi ko lang is kita nyo napaka smoggy kasi may kaingin sinasabing forest fire Ah, uh, pero hindi ako naniniwala dyan I don't know Ah, uh, una sa lahat Nung nasa Phuket kami, ganito na yung quality ng air So, sinasabi na it's from other countries daw uh, May nagsusunog or parang haze, ganyan Tapos, nung pagpunta ko rito, doon ko naman malalaman na Ito mga kasama yung mga countryside ay gaganito pala so it means it's not coming from other countries ang gagaling din pala sa Thailand diba why cover that up if it's forest fire um, diba kailangan na ng tulong pa pag ganyan eh expertise ng mga other countries nakaka experience na ganito pero uh, natin the position naman, hindi naman tayo expert pagdating sa mga ganyan so yun muna, try ko meditate kung kaya ng baga ko dito maganda yung lugar eh, it's just that eh, hard to breathe ah, uh, natin doon, doon sa banda ron hindi eh, banda ron, sana may stick ako pero ayun, ganda doon sa banda ron eh parang quay uh, river quay you know? moon pero hindi kita ayun meditate muna tayo yep nakatapos lang natin mag meditate uh, this is the app that I'm using para sa mga interested Do, I'm using waking up by Sam Harris So, it's a guided meditation. May timer din siya. And, uh, it's good. May mga daily meditations, theory, and everything that you need to know about mindfulness meditation. <clears throat> Dito nga pala ako sa Kanchanaburi, Phuket, ah, uh, Kanchanaburi, Thailand ngayon. Kasi, um, me and my students, meron kaming field trip. Pupunta kami ng Hellfire Pass. May movie tungkol doon eh, yung parang soldier, na uh, British soldier ata, I think, who was taken uh, by the Japanese soldiers and he was a prisoner of war, he was tortured, basically his tormentor, they found peace after, yun, ilang dekada nakalipas, they met up with each other and they sent their peace forgave each other but yeah yun so ginagawa yung railway na yun it connects Burma to uh, Thailand so ayun um, yeah, dito tayo ngayon sa ba pangalan nito resort na to Hub Eran Air One Hub Air One Resort Kanchanaburi itong accommodation namin and kakataas ko mag meditate ngayon with the app And it's so good. Tapos din natin mag-exercise, morning rituals, and mag-journal na lang ako. And then after that, you know, pasyal tayo dito. 
Alright. So, yun. Tayo sa labas na accommodation ko. Siya tayo. Yung astudyante. Ito ang labas ng accommodation. Pasyal tayo dun. Yan ang kapal pa rin ng usok. Usunog sila ng bundok. Ano ba yan? So, di ay. Uh, dito ay waig. Kailangan nga may kabil tiwaig nga dito yung ano bang tawag dito? Quay nga road. Quay. Para, river Quay. So, di ay. Teacher ko na ala. Teacher ako dito ay. Eh. Apo. Yun. Yun no. Open rooms. So, kasta yung teacher at yung kwarto dito yung ay. Tapos Ano dyan Top barge Parang boat Ano natin yung river Ano sinasabi ko Pasya recommend na kayo dito yung Kanchanaburi, Thailand So, nagkita yung accommodation ni eh. So, ito yung di Kanchanaburi Kanchanaburi Tininagan na tayo yung probinsya Ayo Nag Sway kit din dito yun. Basta dito yun. Barge. So, yun. It's a river. Tay bundok. Nagiti yung nagiging accommodation. Ay, mga accommodation. Tapos, chill chill muna. Ngayong araw, our day 2 of our field trip. Um, punta naman tayo sa Um, parang ecology center nila dito and then after that we go to we go to the waterfalls <sighs> ayan kapal ang usok no paano sinusunog nila ang bundok ay what a sad reality ang mga accommodation dyan beautiful yun lang um, pa tayo naligo kain muna tayo pag tayo lumabas so this is a beautiful place uh, maliban sa pagsusunog napaka healthy ng ecosystem ng Thailand tahimik tayo pakinggan nyo Diba? Oh. Maganda pa ang ecosystem nila. So, ayun. Uh, baba muna tayo. Maligo. Hindi, kay muna. Yan, pasyal. Um, it's a beautiful place. Thailand is a very beautiful place. Hindi naman perfecto. Marami rin hassle sa sistema, kultura uh, sa kahit na maganda pang pa likas na uh, yaman nila at ang nature nila marami rin umaabuso hindi nag so ayun charge ko muna to tabuong araw natin gagamitin tong gopro natin okay. yun o oh drive natin to kate pang matag drive dito eh okay, baka damdam agandar delegates ayun taganda so it's time ngayon pero ang ganda no ang ganda sya pero pakaisipin nyo Oh, scary. Like, uh, like la da tirumwar creatures over here crawling or like lang sumul pot. Pero wala naman siguro. Ah, uh, jai, balik na ako sa kwarto mo na, charge ko mo na to. Then, hanap tayo makakain. Yun lang mo na.
we just arrived here in Kaunampu Nature and Wildlife Education Center. So sa mga nagtatanong, ano ba yung mga tinuturuan mo? Uh, high school da ba? Uh, well, yes, they're actually high school students. They're um, waiting to be eligible of, to take the GED test. Now, GED is an American diploma. So basically, I'm teaching American high school subjects like social studies and uh, English. Um, some of them are uh, half blood. My parents na mga foreigner and uh, Thai, so mix. While some of them, they just want to go to America and study there. Yung iba my sponsorship uh, and scholarship, I mean. Yun, sponsorship na rin kasi yung iba dyan, athletes eh. May dalawa kaming Olympian dyan. So, ganun yung offer namin. So, anyway, mabalik tayo. Nandito nga tayo sa Kaunampu. So, ang Kaunampu is um, an education center. It's a farm. They raise cattle. Uh, they plant um, different kinds of uh, crops. Um, especially yung mga matatagpuan lang dito sa Kanchanaburi. And uh, they educate people, especially tourists. So, if I'm not mistaken, you can come here and register. Uh, you can actually volunteer as well um, and help out. And uh, you can give them donations. Uh, they teach you sustainable way of uh, farming and taking care of the land. Um, as well as a uh, proper way of raising or grazing the cattle. Um, that you can, I think, these breed of cattle, you can only find it here in this part of Thailand. So, ayon. So, to mga sujante namin, karamian sa mga to, mga privileged kids. Um, and, uh, Ayun, medyo hindi pa si sila sanay sa mga ganito. So, it's a good exposure then uh, para matuto sila about farming and uh, yung hirap ng pagtatanim at pag, uh, yung conservation ng, ng land. Ganun. Um... Ano na, ito na ba yung lahat ng studyante? Yes, we are a small school. It's like home school, high school. Uh, so, we operate in Phuket. And the packages are a little bit pricey, to be honest. So, parang kami yung middle ground between international school and uh, the government school or public school. So, kasi alam nyo naman ang education system ng, ng Thailand, lalo yung mga local eh, wala naman gaano English program. So, kami yung middle ground, kaya medyo mahal ang singil. Kaya, we operate in small numbers. So, ayun. Isa ako sa mga teacher nila. And, uh, mamaya, kwentuhan ko pa kayo about dyan. After nito, magla-lunch lang kami, and then we will go to, we will go back to the hotel, rest ng konti, then punta na kami sa Era 1 Falls. The waterfall. Oh, boy, Rex, got it. Oh, it's enough. <laughs> he he doesn't understand you. I love the egg that. No. All right, good. <laughs> I do look good at this. Why you check? Good map of Kanchanaburi. So 
We are here in the Erawan National Park. This is Kanchanaburi. Ayun, dito tayo ngayon. Pasyalan natin. Tag pasyar. So, hata tayo dito ay eh. Erawan National Park. Erawan Waterfall. Amazing. Yep. Okay. I got my wallet in there, right? Yeah. Alright. I need to make sure I think it's very important. Don't worry, it's in here, it's all safe. Okay. You... How do I tighten this? Don't want this? You press oh, it. Oh, oh. How much is that? 160. This looks really good on me, doesn't it? Yeah. I look like Mikhail Jackson. Mikhail Jackson? <laughs> the Swedish uh, no. moonwalker? Yeah, I'm Swedish. Teacher <laughs> 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 Mikhail Jackson. That's a good thing about uh, teaching high school students. You know, it's it's fun. Um, di mo kailangan na bantayan sila masyado. Nakakatawa ba? It reminds you of your teenage years. You know, so innocent and uh, no no problems. Uh, masaya sa pagtuturo ng mga teenagers, high schools. Mga bata nito, mga 15, 16. 18 Alright, so I think we've reached some part of the falls now. Um, so we have two hours to have fun here and maybe uh, go back later and celebrate the birthday of uh, our two students. Mm -hmm. Cycle waste, rice cycle. So, yep, you will see that a lot in Thailand. A lot of signages or uh, mga ganitong bagay, medyo hindi pa sila masyadong maayos sa spelling. Uh, but it's okay. Naman yun basihan eh. I mean, it's good to speak in English and learn the proper grammar, spelling, and everything. Pero, naman basihan nyo ng pagiging matalino. I mean, it's one more thing, di ba? Pero man tayong emotional quotient and uh, intellectual quotient. So, yun ang basihan sa pagiging isang mabuting tao. Alright, wow. So, we're here. Falls. Is it possible to go near the falls? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Kinley can swim. I can walk. <laughs> because I don't know how to swim. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, I never know. Even how to float. I don't know how to float. <laughs> Uh, well, Lisa, you know how to swim? Okay, I'm a mountain person. Didn't grow up in a place where there's a lot of bodies of water. Is it deep? Uh, it's um, not, not much. Um, not much. 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 Not
they're near their masters. Hey, fishes, go away. <laughs> Fetch <laughs> some pearls <laughs> or do anything. <laughs> Get away. So there you go. I, I didn't test this yet for waterproof. I don't know if it's going to be waterproof. Uh, yep. No, I think it's not waterproof, you know. Really? No, that's my that's my perspiration. Hey fishes, get out. Don't get near me. No, I'm not your master. Go, go. Waterproof. Okay. But don't go near me, fishes. <gasps> it's so cold. Parang creatures na nakikita sa mga lugar dito nakaka-amaze uh, kasi sanay na yung pati yung mga isda sanay sa tao eh and uh, ganun din yung mga tao sanay dun sa mga eto mga kakaibang creatures um, na nakikita nyo dito sa video it's, it's so uh, happy then to see that uh, some students are enjoying of course may mga killjoy dyan na mga bata meron na mga ganun, teenager talaga eh, nasa stage na tara na boring dito ganun or they're just on their smartphones pero at least you know karamihan sa mga studyante nage enjoy yun ang pinakamahalaga na nakita mo nakita ko during that day um mga bata and uh, almost finish na rin pa na rin kami after nito para makapag-relax sa hotel and uh, eto naman kaya kahit na malayo ako sa family ko uh, eto yung nakakapag somehow helps with uh, loneliness uh, depression and anxiety na nararanasan ko at least pag kasama ko yung mga sudyante pag kasama ko sila masaya ako masaya ako na nagtuturo and uh, parang kuya kuya ang andun ba uh, at saka isa pa um, ibang generation din to eh, kaya ang dami ko rin natututunan mula sa kanila So, ayun, dito ulit tayo. Dito tayo sa Hub Air One Resort. It's around 5 na. Or, I think going 5. So, ayun. Ayaw. Alright. Parang pamit ah. So, ayun. Ina-enjoy natin tong bathtub sa balkonahe. Ayun. Um, Yung price ang pag-uusapan Basa Parang 800 per head So kasi usually good for 3 itong kwarto na to Pero dalawa lang kami ng cover ko um, Parang 2000 something But So parang 800 per head kung tatlo Tapos, inclusive na yun ng breakfast sa dinner, buffet pa. O, oh, parang sulit na rin. Tapos yung ito nakaka-relax. Yung ito. Ayan o. Ayan. Habang nagbababad ka sa bathtub. 
para karelas para makatulog ka talaga ayun tulog <laughs> para makatulog pero ayun it's good naman swerte lang ta bayad na to nila boss ano naman ang oh, gagastos din dito um, arte lang ng trabaho mabigat din naman ang trabaho so, para minsan quits lang Um, yan, um, yan, yan yung sa likod natin pwede naman dun tayo mag ulunan sa kabila para eto yung kita mo may eto kabel taman dito sabay Yes, ito, uh, sinishare ko itong mga magagandang post na ito sa inyo Not to brag or para mang ingit I, I just want to go back to what Oli said in our podcast before Yun nga, alam naman mag-post kami ng mga diskrasya, ng mga pangit na nangyayari, ba? Diba? We are just, these are just konting moments na nangyayari sa buhay namin as OFWs. Di naman ibig sabihin na laging ganito. And it's it's alibangan. Wala naman kaming magawa eh. It's, it's just something na to keep us sane again. I will keep on doing this not because uh, uh, I want to follow the trend of vlogging but You know, if you are in our situation as uh, overseas Filipino workers, it would really help you to at least even talk to someone na para ka nagkwekwento ng ganito. And in my case, this is a very good therapy. Um, siguro, oh, oh, we are more lucky than some of the people now and that's why I consider myself blessed and uh, for the people out there konting tiis pa just hang in there lahat naman tayo may sacrifices I haven't seen my family for one year and six months now so konting tiis lang you know you might think that I am enjoying too much but uh, the reality is I miss my family so much Yon. So, sana na-enjoy nyo itong pagkikwento ko at pagpapasyal ko sa inyo. Uh, marami pang video na susunod. Salamat! How about your meal? Good. Grupo, stop recording. <laughs>